Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome in. I'm LeBron's Jade and today we're continuing our playthrough of Silent Hill 4! <gasps> What did I just see? <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever! Seriously, what was that? Oh, there it is again! <laughs> oh my god, this game just keeps giving you more and more every time! <laughs> All these cute little interactions. Well, it, if you can call it cute. Oh, I completely forgot to mention, I rearranged my office, so it looks probably a little different in the background. And uh, bear with me for a couple of episodes. I'm going to be trying to get the lighting right in here. All right, what else? Let's check on Eileen if we can, if she's in there. Nope, don't see her. Anybody out here right now? All right, Sunderland, you're being weird again. Staring off into the distance. Oh, the laundry room. I check this all the time. Nothing's ever new. Most useless room in video game history. All right, that's harsh. Maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? It's still early. All right, I checked my bedroom. Everything else is good, so let's head back. You know, I mentioned that this sounded like a rocking chair, but now that I'm hearing it again, this sort of sounds like someone hanging on a noose. Oh my god. It's so creepy. I love it. We met Richard. Gave him a warning of the little baby killer. The sword. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to get the sword. I swear on me bum. I just wanted to get a feel of the layout first. Um, which I didn't really need to. I just needed to grab it and go. But I don't know. I was scared, okay? So now... Oh my god. So let's go- Oh! Sheesh! Let's go back and get it. Alright, alright. Alright, ambience. Slugs. Calm down. I'm just coming through. Alright. Here we are. Are y'all ready? I actually think I'm asking myself that. <laughs> Because I think I know what's going to happen when I take this. There's a sword stuck in his stomach. Take it out. Yes. We've got the Sword of Obedience. Extremely rare sword. When used against down ghost, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. Alright! Oh, is he not? Oh, we're good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, no. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen there. I just, I don't know. Ow! I just thought maybe he wouldn't get up? I don't know. But let's get out of here before he follows me because I do have a feeling he's gonna grieve me. Oh, yes! Stop! Stop! I got out of there just in time. He's still grieving me. Okay, phew. Locked. Okay, I think we're good now. Phew, we got it. Oh, I should have taken it back. That's nice. God. Not doggies again. Come on, Henry, you're right there. Get him. I'm hitting everything but the dog. Come on. All right. 
fine. All right. A little sloppy, but that's okay. What's all these items? Ooh, I see something. One more dog. I love the ambience. Oh my gosh. It's enough cat food for an army of cats. You found keys. Will you take them? Yes, <laughs> I will. No thanks on the cat food, though. Pass. Albert Sports. Oh, that's for the locked door back there, I think. Oh. Nope. No thanks. Okay. Oh, where did you come from? Stop! All right. Easy. Later, sucker. Whoa. Is this room? Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe it's fine. No, yeah. It's upside down. An upside down clock. The hands aren't moving. The doorknob is rusted shut. And I can't get it open. What? Well, um, so we need to open up this clock, I guess. Uh, I guess I just got back and use the key. No! Stop griefing me! Oh, this isn't fair, come on! Float under me! Oh jeez, this is like the actual worst. Here we go, here we go. Ha! Ankles. Holy god. <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of comical doing all this. Phew! Okay. Feeling good. Let's just, uh, say no to all these animals and... Oh god. No, please. Please. This is... Man, I'm getting trashed, and it's all my fault. I know it is. I probably should be less conservative with my ammo. But you never know what could be ahead. Okay. Should we drop off the sword? I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's fine. We'll, we'll take it back later. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Should I break out the gun? I'm kind of trashed. Alright, let's take it. Oh god. Okay. Woo. That was... That was luck. That was sheer luck. Come on. Come at me. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Oh, get him, Henry. There we go. Easy. Alright, y'all two next. Come on. Come on. I'll take you both on. Get closer, a little closer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, dude. He fell down the stairs. Come on, you're next. There we go. Get down there, Henry. Come on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stomp him. Hurry. Oh my gosh, these guys are really rough. Okay, I think they're dead. Officially dead. Sheesh! I am uh, kind of in trouble. We should probably get out. Yes. Yeah, Henry, let's go. Uh, if things start to get hella hairy, we'll use... Uh... Oh no! Nope, I'm going. If things start to get rough, we'll uh, use the stun gun. Door shut tight. Oh, elevator. It's not here, though. Oh, there's a hole. What is all that down there? And a door. Huh. Okay. We need to go down, then, I think. 
cutscene time. Oh, I'm kind of scared, actually. I remember the elevator in Silent Hill 3. Okay, I think we're good. <gasps> Richard! Oh! Are you the kid he was talking about? You live in that apartment too, huh? He does. Say, you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey, hey you, stop! Oh my gosh, so he's confrontational, isn't he? There are three buttons lined up vertically. Press a button. Um, sure. Let me finish the thought. So he's co confronting Walter, little baby Walter. Man, kind of worried. Kind of worried for him, to be honest, because every time we found him with someone. <gasps> Hello, doggy. Uh, that they they've died. So kind of worried. Whoa, what's going on back there? Holy moly, I don't want to go over there. Can I shoot them? Nah, I don't want to waste. Elevator's not here. Okay, well what about that middle button? Huh. Weird. Alright, well let's go down. Come on, baby, let's go down. Ooh. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, I'm gonna partake in that. I hear the little skin dandelions. You gotta break out the bat for those. Phew. All right. Is that where we came? Yeah, yeah, it's a ladder. Okay, that's what we're going from. Locked. Locked. Everything's locked! Typical. It's time to break out the gun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Both of y'all. Get- No, not- Not the door! Smash him! All right, getting a little worried. No! Come on, Henry. Oh! Woo! I've got a little stack of bodies, oh my god. All right, what else? Lock is broken. Anything here? Oh! There is a door there. It's uh... Is that... Korean? That's cool. Jeez Louise! Look at this! That's what they get! Should not mess with me. <gasps> oh! This is where we were! Because I could see the hall. And there was the fence. Camera angles. Phew, wee. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's a lot going on here. He's got a golf club, dude. And he's blocking the door. He's invincible. Get him, Henry. Vending machine. I was trying to interact with the vending machine, but I actually just picked up the golf glove that he has. Ow! Alright, I'm, I'm out of here. Oh wait, there's a ladder. Ah! Okay, I'm out, I'm out. Sheesh! I'm on the verge of death. We gotta find a hole. Ooh. What in 
in the world is this floor? Oh, that's so weird. It's like a ceiling fan from like an apartment. Okay, interesting, ominous, mysterious. Very much like Silent Hill. Oh, thanks for the dead end. All right, I'm going down. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Just garbage. There's nothing useful here. Okay. Any... Oh, it's broken. Any doors? No doors. Oh, here we go. Little sluggies. Y'all are everywhere. Ooh. It's a rusty axe. Take the rusty axe. Yeah, you. Yeah. One-handed axe. A little short, powerful, and easy to handle. Whoa, what is this room? An awesome looking bar! Okay. Oh, and a hole! Yes, 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 yes. This is like a save restroom. Hello, note. I see you over here. Ooh. The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number. But the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anybody could see it from South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? Yes, the number. We called that in the last episode, I think. So I think I remember it. It was 3750, I think. I'm not sh too sure, so we should go back to double check. Honestly, this is also probably a good prompt to go see if anything's changed and heal up all at the same time. It's a billiard table. Looks like they were in the middle of a game. Jazz, baby! Mmm. I like this room. Alright, so before we do that, let's go rest up, check for any new changes, and we'll be back! Yeah, 3750. Awesome. Okay, so if we've made our way from the roof of the hotel, I think, and now we're going over to the bar. That's cool. Mr. Sunderland pacing. He's really preoccupied with this room, which I would be too. I mean, if I had noticed this for however many years and a cycle, a pattern, I'd think that was a little loony too. Oh, it's that same animation where it kind of looks like she's looking at me. All right, well, she's okay, despite our cryptic message. Oh, there it is again! Oh my god. We were really hoping for players to catch that. Oof, I don't know even why I try the radio anymore. Let's actually put this back and, and the sword. Golf club. Yes. Um, We've got a lot of weapons. It's kind of nutty. Alright, we're back. Let's enter this coderoni. More codes. Three, seven, five, zero. Wee! Bye bye, sluggies. Alright. This stairway is collapsed. It doesn't look like I could get through. Oh my god! That was so scary! I don't know if that was human or a ghost, a monster, or what? And now I'm getting griefed! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. So many stairs. What is this? The Shindra building? The, the, okay, okay. 
This is perfect. Okay, y'all stay down there. Easy. Oh my god, the stairs, they never freaking end, dude. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Did we make it? Yes. What's this? It's door 207 from my apartment building. Wait, how did we get... Alright, I'm not gonna question it. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate. Yes! <gasps> Another placard. It has an abstract picture on it and s picture and says chaos. Chaos placard. Hello? Oh my god! Get in there, Henry! Help him! Oh no, don't touch him! Oh no, he's another victim! I knew it! I knew it! There's a little killer now! What? That's no kid. It's the one, 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 two, one man. Oh my gosh, another victim. And Richard seemed to know him, and he said he's. The one 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 two one man. What? That would indicate a victim. So, right? I've got to look up that sequence of numbers and see what the one 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 is. I think that's from the sequence of ten years ago, right? I don't, I'm probably wrong, but just thinking out loud. Okay. Well, we're seeing a pattern for sure. Every person that that little baby killer is with dies. Richard was no exception. Oh, there's a man in 207. He's pointing at room 303. Eileen's room? No, dude, stop. Why is everything pointing to Eileen's room? Literally. <laughs> was that the room? Yeah, that was the room we were just in. Who is this man, though? Also, he was- Oh, someone's playing air guitar. <laughs> uh, but to finish my thought, um, Walter was standing right there. Now it's just some random man. All right, let's do our rounds. Maybe that orphanage in the forest and the cylinder-shaped prison were both somewhere in this photo, too. That's different. It seems there's some kind of ancient native religion still active in Silent Hill. Yep. All right. Looks oh. like another one, Captain. Got one, one, Nine, two, one, one two, on his one. head. It's just like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... Well, given what these people know, that the killer is dead, it's not a crazy assumption to make that it's a copycat, but we know there's something more going on here. In the world of Silent Hill, it is never as it seems. There he is, pointing again. Oh, man. Getting really worried about our girl now. Alright, let's check on her. Although, I don't think we can do anything to save her at this point. Oh! Girl! Looking good! Where are you going? I want to go. I want to go out and party. I visited Silent Hill lots of times when I was that age. Oh, is that so? 
Oh, this is new. He uses room 105 as a superintendent's room. Oh, okay. We'll remember that. It's U-shaped. So you can see what the person... Yes, yeah. I, I think we have seen this before. Now that I think of it, there was a movie like that a long time ago. A movie, huh? I wonder if that's like a nod to something. Any visitors? Nope, just Sunderland. Yep, and another hand. Yep, yep, yep. That makes four, I think. <sighs> Alright, there wasn't much for us. Just a couple of different pieces of dialogue. But... <gasps> oh... My god, it's turning into the symbol. Shower, are you seeing this? This is crazy. I think the most jarring about this is that there is no sound coming through this anymore. Why not? This whole, it doesn't look like a human made it. Well, no, Henry. <laughs> but no, really, I, I wouldn't have thought a human would have made this. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've seen this pattern before. Can you go inside? Yep. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous. So I guess what we were supposed to get from the previous world was Richard was another victim and somehow, I guess, related to Walter, like the orphanage guy. Oh, I forgot his name from the prison world. Oh, okay. Oh, man. More metal walkways than scary, gory... Oh. Is that the killer? Get... Eileen. Don't answer it, girl. Get away from the door, you crazy. Ooh, that's creepy. <gasps> he killed all the... He killed the monsters behind him. Oh. <laughs> it looks like he's walking on a little bit of air there. It looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? We're in the other world of the apartment, Henry. Oh... 301! Hey! Okay. Let's go in there first, I guess, since we're here. Whoa, it's like it's dropped off into oblivion. That is so creepy. What is this? What are you looking at, Henry? Diary. Oh, and a note. The last few months, Joseph... The guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine. Looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist, and he was always investigating stuff. But I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment. I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st. Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me. But I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. Who's he? Joseph? Okay, so Mike lives in this apartment, I, I'm gathering. Joseph is next door, which would be mine. So Joseph definitely lived in my apartment. In the in the past, in another timeline, I guess. It's a red piece of paper. Take the red paper. Just a red paper with nothing written on it. I'll stick it under room 302's door. Oh, so we'll be able to read it there? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, hello, Hull. I will remember that you are here. Anything in here for me? Wow, look at all these porno magazines. <laughs> Mike Cochino. Whoa. What are these angles? 
Uh, elevator? I don't know exactly. Weird. What are these little platforms? Hello? Oh, another diary. There's a magazine lying open. Oh, it's a magazine. Teaching Despair, Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Small Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. <gasps> the prison? Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may be, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Draper? Wow, that was really juicy. So we really know that he was kind of exploiting their crimes, I guess is the best word. Man, I would been I would have been nervous to be on their hit list. What is this auspiciously red bright this guy is it the super Oh yeah, it is. It has his sweater, I think. He was much younger in this picture. There's a key tape to the back of it. Ooh. Okay. Take the superintendent's key. Yeah, yeah. 105. That's for his room. It's a photo of a nurse. It says, I love you on it. There's a key tape to the back of it. Oh, two keys? Locker key 106. Okay. Locker, huh? Okay. Porno magazine scattered all over the floor. Coach. Why music? No, Grandma. No, 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 no. We're out of there. Oh, I see you, little baby Walter. What are you doing over here? Oh, what's he saying? Mom? Oh, it's like the note from the beginning. It said, Mom, why doesn't you wake up? Oh, is this like a for real him? Oh my gosh, it was like a memory? Hey, there's a note. There's a scrap of red paper stuck under the door. This is the same way they show up under my door. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. We gotta drop that off. We put the red paper in the door crack. Okay, perfect. So we need to find out where to use these keys. Alright, let's do it. Thanks for killing the doggos. Eileen's room. What was that guy doing here? Could he be the next victim? Or could it be- No! Stop, Henry. 
It's not gonna be Eileen, okay? Locked. Oh! There's that guy! Are you gonna hurt me? What's up, brother? You good? I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. Does he have blood on his face? She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here. I'll give it to you. Uh, do I take this, y'all? Um, okay, so he's saying that Eileen, that he knew her in the past and she gave this to him? Okay, I guess I'll take it. Will you take the Chevy doll? Yes, I will take the Chevy doll. But I don't know what for. She was so young then. So happy with life. Just holding on to her mother's hand. Okay. He's remembering her past, I guess. Oh, I thought that was door. Alright, well you stay there, I guess. Hopefully you don't get murdered. Although you're a little creepy. Alright, what's gonna be here? Hello? Where are we? Oh, we're on the second floor. Duh. 206. Oh god, doggies. Let's take him out. looking at something. What is this? It's a part of some torn jeans. There's blood and some kind of animal hair on them. What? Did we not take them? I guess we don't need to, but... Uh, okay. Was this that guy's clothes? Lots of... a lot of garbage. I love this ambient track. Ooh. There's a lot of garbage. Okay, I don't think there's anything else for us here. Animal hair on the clothes, huh? It's weird. That guy is gone. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's keep going down then. I uh, came back up here just to check, but he is indeed gone. Oh my gosh. Everything is locked. Oh! Pile of garbage. Nothing interesting. Okay. Locked. Another grandma. Go away! Alright, nothing for us here. Just garbage and locked doors. Oh my god, I've never seen him close that way. And I hear like that whispering, that guttural sound. Oh my gosh. That is so creepy. <sighs> okay, I guess we go down here. She cleared this place out. What is this? These are the tenants' lockers. Oh, we have the key. Numbers 101 through 304. Right, so we can use... You use the locker key 106. 
Yeah, yeah. What's all this? I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Okay. Was he, like, stalking her? It's kind of creepy. I don't see anything from her. Alright, and I saw a hole back here, so we know we have that. Um... Where to first? I guess we'll start over here. Oh, more doggies. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Locked. <laughs> I love the little sounds. What was that? I'm not messing around. So there's only, I think, three rooms on this, this section. Alright, let's head across. There's so many places to go. <gasps> the superintendent's room. Wait, hold on. Let me check out the rest of this hall. All right. There's this like kind of like track in the background in the hallway. It almost sounds a little relaxing. Ooh, lots of stuff. Mm, come here. It's a piece of paper. Take the red paper. Just a red paper, nothing written on it. Okay, this is another piece we've got to take. Oh, and this one's torn. Got to put it underneath our door. It's a hastily scrib scribbled memo. Blech, can't talk. Found by Nurse Rachel. Return it to 302 together with the part her boyfriend Mike tore off. Oh, is that something we've already put under our door? We need to go back. Oh my gosh. It's a red box. <gasps> the umbilical cord. Man, this thing really stinks. It's practically bringing tears to my eyes. Oh, open it up, Henry. We gotta take a look at that. There are keys for each apartment here. Take the apartment keys. Oh my god. We get the whole place. Actually, it looks like 303 is missing. Of course it is. All right, so I guess our objective is just to go through everything first and then find 303 key. Ooh, camera angles. Hello? Is this, oh, a diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago. That young couple was living in the apartment. But one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away, and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by, but now that I think of it, I bet he was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302, and the umbilical cord I found there. Well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Oh my god, that was a juicy, juice note. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the superintendent's preoccupied or fixated on the umbilical cord because he found it, obviously. But the baby was just bored and they just dipped. So that young kid must have been Walter. So he was abandoning, he was abandoned, and that's why he was knocking on the door. Like, Mom? Mom? 
He was like looking for her, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. And he kept the umbilical cord. That is so gross, dude. All right, okay. Now that we've got all these keys, we've got so much work to do. Um, I kind of want to go read these notes though. So let's go in the hole. <gasps> what the heck? Is that our washing room? Our washing room? God. Oh God. What the hell is this? The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. Okie dokie. Well, this room is no longer useless. It served a purpose to scare the bejesus out of me. Oh. Oh, the, the notes from other the other time I put them under. Oh my god, I'm a dingus. I forgot to put the notes that I have in my inventory under the door. Oh my gosh, it doesn't make sense. Wait, what if I have it in my inventory? Why can't I read it? Oh, it didn't work. Ho hold on, I messed up. There's a red paper stuck in here. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 0121. Oh, so it takes out the first two and the last two, I guess? In other words, one out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. So he died before he got to 10, I guess? Or 21. Holy moly. The grisly mass murder of 10 people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. That was the first set, right? So he was at 8 and then he died? Wait, I'm confused. I'm gonna have to reread these notes, so sorry if I'm missing a couple of <laughs> a couple of details here. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? Or he got caught. May 2nd. Okay. It was four years ago that they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier. But Walter had been dead for seven years. Having committed suicide three years before the murder, the police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. But something about it bothered me. Okay, so all signs are pointing that it's a copycat, I guess. <sighs> My brain cells. But wouldn't... I don't know. I see you. Still pacing, I see. Okay, I'm a dingus. I have to go back, drop off the notes, and come back here and read. And that is what I'm going to do. So, there's the torn one. We still need to get the other one. I actually don't recall if the set I just read. Oh, Granny, I forgot about you. Alright, let's go. Phew! I don't remember if the previous set I read was ripped or not. I'll check my inventory. So we're, we're still looking for one more part. Torn red paper. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. Oh! I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... Of course, that's where it's ripped. Okay. I picked up the key that Eileen... Oh, is this other hat? That Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. 
I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. Oh, the super has it. Okay. Any visitors? Nope. Nobody. Nobody's checking on me right now. Well, let's go see what Eileen's up to. I'm worried about her. I can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting nervous, dude. I don't want her to go. I like her. She's so cute. And now the news. Oh, Yesterday, we get something on the radio this Wally time. the walrus, a longtime resident of the Springfield Zoo, gave birth to a healthy baby walrus pup named Buttercup. Oh. Mother and child are doing just fine. Great. That's adorable. Okay. Well, that was interesting. All right, let's head back. Oh, I forgot about Grandma. Okay. Peace. All right. We don't have the key to Eileen's room. Oh, this room is so cute. <gasps> Are those... The Dalmatians from Silent Hill 3? <sighs> Aw, I mean, I don't know for sure, but cute. That reminds me of the TV from Silent Hill 2. Door shut tight, okay. Ooh, creepy. Creepy hallway. Oh, he's looking at something over there. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's all these clocks everywhere. Kind of cute. Hello? Oh, what the heck is this? This looks like an altar of some kind. Alright, let's get out of here. There's some handgun ammunition, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go back down. Start doing our rounds. I think we're on the superintendent's side. Yeah. Oh no, we're on... Oh, t w the second floor. Okay, duh. What are these empty... Oh god, no! Do not grief me in such a tiny place! Barbell. Lots of old game machines and other devices that I have no idea about. Ooh, tech room. Ooh, look at this, radio. A lot of old video game machines lying around. It's a cassette tape. The label says, skinned mic. I can listen to it on the stereo in my room. Take the cassette tape. Yes! Skinned mic, huh? Okay. Interesting. They're all books about computers and electronics. Oh god! No! Get away! Oh no, I'm in a tight, tight spot. Oh, oh god. They can come in the rooms! No! Back up! Get back! Grab this, what is it? Nothing? Alright, we're out. Peace. Later, sucker. Woo! Okay. Uh, oh, that's where we came from. Alright, let's keep going. Two oh six. Okay. Oh no, there's monsties. Doggies, I think, to be exact. It's a baby bed. I thought that was a doll, but it's just a bear. It looks like kids' graffiti. The writing is so jammed together, it makes me feel sick. Really? There are lots of kids' toys lying around. Oh, so cute. <gasps> the music. Oh, there's graffiti all over the walls. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty scary. Oh. Doggies just chillin'. They're fine. Look at them. 
Oh my god, this room is kind of freaky. Remember, it reminds me of Alessa's room. All right, dog, you cannot be allowed to live. Sorry. You'll kill me if I don't kill you. Whoa, what is this? Bunk beds? Cute little lights on them? Oh my god, the music. I love it. Hello? Oh, okay, he finally sat down. Maybe if I just be real quiet and slow. Maybe he'll stay. S oh, good doggy. Oh, oh, never mind. Maybe we're friends. He's kind of glitched out on the drawer. That's okay. Oh, not anymore. Oh, okay. I'm out. I'm out. Oh. I ran right into that by accident. Shoo. Okay, this is 207. Yes. Oh dear. Um Hello? Oh, oh 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 my gosh. It's the uh that guy from the hall. What is up with the dirty bloody scary looking trash bin? Wait. Oh, this is 207. This is I thought it was 307 that was the room that Richard passed in. Hello? Sir? Oh my god. That is super cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the gun Richard was using. Take Richard's revolver. Yes! Holds a maximum of six bullets. Easy to use with moderate stopping power. Oh my god. Gosh, that is awesome. The only downside is it's going to require its own ammunition, maybe? And what is up with the... There's men's bloody underwear and a torn shirt sleeve in the garbage. What? Torn shirt sleeve and underwear? Sheesh, what happened in there? Other than what we saw. Hello? Ooh, golf club. It's a golf club. Looks like a putter. You got the putter! Well, we've got tons of weapons. I guess we should use them while we're on the way so we can clear up some space. Alright, this was a juicy room. Holy moly. Okay. Let's go. A lot of garbage. Oh my gosh, I love that ambient track. Wait. Oh, these were the clothes that we saw earlier. So, they're torn and bloody here, I guess. And inside that room. What the heck happened? I don't get the clothes bit, but... And the animal hair. But I guess we'll find out. Ooh, the cassette. Yes, that might help us too. This will be a good opportunity to drop off some stuff. Oh my gosh, I am really enjoying this so far. If you guys are too, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, the little bunny's over here now. Did did we see it over on this side last play last episode? I love these little Easter eggs. I think it's really cute. All right. Let's uh let's listen to this tape and check on everything else. Dude, Sunderland, you do not quit, do you? He is really perplexed. As he should be, I would be too. All right, I'm ready to play this. How do you like that? You Sick little freak. You had it coming to you. These clothes are disgusting. Get them out of my sight. I know. It'll be oh. perfect to wrap his body in. 
Hold it. You! Hold it. I think you I'll snooping around again? Myself. Get your ass out Hold of here before it. you Hold really it. piss me Hold off! Hold it. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. What? Okay. So, there were three people. They were... It sounded like they had just killed someone. One was like, yo, use that to wrap the body in? The clothes were annoying him or something like that? And this other person wanted to keep them? The piece of clothing? Oh my god. Ooh, so many putters and golf clubs. Someone really likes golf. Alright, that was really chilling though. I don't know what to think. So, was Mike a victim then? He said skinned. Oh! It looks like Eileen is okay. She looks so cute. Okay. She looks like she's waiting. Okay, Eileen's okay for now. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick and then let's head back. Wait. Oh, that's my room and Eileen's room. That's why it's locked. Okay. Yeah, so room or floor three is clear. Oh, we haven't been here yet. Okay. Oh my gosh. 204. I hear ghosties. Sheesh. Ooh. What's all of this? There are plenty of cooking tools, but there's nothing I need right now. <gasps> Is that bread? <laughs> Hello, bread. I see you. Don't think I didn't. Ooh. Bump. Ooh, that warm light. It's kind of fuzzy, though. There's literally nothing I can get in here? Really, plant? You wanna do that to me? Well then, I guess this room was for nothing. Oh no. Ah! Okay, 203. No, there's a ghosty in here. Oh, stop. Dude, it's really hard to interact with things when you're griefing me. Oh, a can of bug spray. Bug spray? What am I gonna... Wait, what did it say? Aerosol insecticide. Effective against certain enemies. About to use it on this ghosty boy. There are empty bottles all over the floor, too. Oh my god, these camera angles. They're killing me. Door shut tight. Okay. Everything's locked. There's a room. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a bloodstained shirt. There's a torn red paper in the pocket. <gasps> oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. Henry. Yes. Yes! Okay, this is the other side that we needed. Uh, let's get out of here. Woo! We're finding so much good stuff here. Hello, phone. Oh! Paintings. Someone's a painter! Oh, so cool. I can't interact with anything. Oh, here we go. It's a painting of a woman holding a cat. The memo says 102. Oh, is that like one o the tenant of 102? She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. I kind of felt sorry for her when she was mourning for one of her dead cats. 
that related to the animal hair on the clothes? I don't remember where we found that, though. There's nothing painted yet. What about this one? Painting of an old couple. 304. A nice, sweet old couple. Oh my gosh, that painting looks um kind of terrifying of them. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, look at all the environmental details. It's so cute. I love that we're getting like a little gallery here. It's a painting of a nurse. On the memo it says 106. My beautiful darling, lately she's been bothered by a stalker. <gasps> Mike. My beautiful darling though. So if my calculations are correct and Mike was stalking her, then whoever painted this is with her, I guess? He said darling, he or she said darling. Oh, baby. Uncovering details. It's a painting of two adults and a lot of children. The memo says 206. Oh, was this the room with all the toys everywhere? How can they even sleep with so many noisy kids? Besides that, they have to live next to next to Braintree? It's a painting of an old man holding a brush. The memo says 202. Sell portrait. Okay. Yeah, we're in 202. So the old man was with the nurse. Rachel, right? It's a painting of a young man. The memo says 107. He listens to great music, but I feel sorry for him having li live under Braintree. Okay, so 106. Oh, we still need to go down there. And 102, too. Which would be the old lady's room. I'm gonna write all this down. Oh, I missed this one. Plump woman, Memo says, to a four. She's always eating something, but I wish my girlfriend liked to cook like her. Is he talking about Rachel? Okay, I wrote all this down. I don't know if it's important, but I think it's kind of cute. Well, fun. It's a painting of a man drinking alcohol. Room says 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all that drinking and fighting. This is so cool. It's a painting of a man with a gun. The memo says 101. A gun maniac. He's always coughing from his cat allergy. Hmm. Cat allergy, huh? This must be Richard Braintree. The memo says 207. Yeah. The one that lives above... The music guy. Braintree, that prick. <laughs> He's always yelling at kids, especially that weird one that hangs around. <gasps> Baby Walter. But he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off. So he's my hero? Whoa. <sighs> Hold on a second. Richard Braintree. That's the guy that just died, right? I didn't know that was his last name or I forgot or something. Sorry if I forgot, but so Richard, the guy who just died, the one who killed Mike and he was always yelling at the kids, so that's why he was yelling at Walter and the painter seems to not like Mike because he said he's my hero. So Mike was the stalker of his girlfriend, right? And that's why he's happy? It's a painting of a man holding a porno magazine? Is Oh, this must be Mike. Memo says 301. I don't remember his room, but I'm writing it down. The perverted stalker. Yes! He got what he deserved. Oh my gosh. This must be the superintendent. Memo says 105. Yep. Sunderland, the superintendent. The super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover because he was being creepy. It must be the guy who plays video games. The memo says 205. He's always shut up in his room. 
It looks like he has a lot of weird interests. I heard he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. <gasps> That's what we heard. I don't know if I explored this hotel, I mean apartments backwards. Um, that would have been cool to get this room first is all I'm trying to say. But we still got it now. That's all that matters. I'm having so much fun. I like don't want to stop recording. It's been an hour and a half. I just want to keep going. Oh, I'm really liking this. Alright, um... I guess that's it. Well, this is cool. I have a lot of cool dotes. Very excited to check out all these extra rooms. 201. Okay, who's 201? 201 is... Uh, what? I don't have any notes on 201. Hi. Is it because there's ghosties? Stop! The writing's all blurry. I can't read it. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of getting nervous. Uh, 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 take it. Henry! Oh god. Oh god. Alright, buggies, come on. I am not dying. Nope. Nope. Not today, Grandma. Ankles. More buggies? Ugh. Alright, dance around them. Dance around. Alright, there we go. There we go. Ugh. Alright. I want to know what this room is. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, Grandma, get back. No. That's what you get. That's what you get. Wait, what was the purpose of this room? Mm. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, it was just an empty room to grieve me. Love that. There's that same creepy noise. Did I go through two or four? Oh my gosh. The groans reminds me of Silent Hill 1. Okie dokie. I think we need to go... Yeah. Uh, to the first floor now. Okay, second floor is clear. Oh my god. Okay, so we already went in there. Let's check the rest. 106. Of course it's locked. What was this? 106? Oh, this is supposed to be Rachel's. Uh, from the painting, it said 106. So this should be Rachel's place. Oh. Sheesh. Okay. Oh, hello. Notes. It's a nurse's uniform. The name on this is Rachel. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yes, I will take that. Oh, we're getting full on items again. It says my darling's number. And there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Will you press these numbers? So basically, I'm going to call somebody. Okay. Oh, there's a phone ringing somewhere. Okay. So, hold up. Let me figure this out. What? Oh, oh my god! Yo! Oh my god, that phone is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. So... Oh! Sheesh! One more door. Okay, so if that's ringing at, it says my darling, my, my darling's number? Looking at my notes. It should, oh, no, stop. It sounds like it's in here. There are a lot of records and music magazines on the shelves. Ooh, who's this? This would be, 
the music guy. The one who lives under Richard. Uh, yeah, 107. Okay, so this is the music guy's place. It's a turntable. Oh! Ankles! It's a big speaker. Okay. Oh, sheesh. Oh, jeesh. Oh, jeesh. Is there nothing in here? Alright, we're gonna dodge him in here. Come in here. Come on. Come on. Don't block the door. Dude, really? Come on. You wanna come at me then? Come on. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I don't think there was anything in here for us. Bummer. Oh my gosh, we gotta find that phone. I'm gonna go crazy. <sighs> All right, as I was saying, if that's her darling's number, wouldn't that be where we just came from? What room? The painter's room? 202? Let's go check because I, I remember seeing like two phones. Oh, it's over here. I saw one on a nightstand or something in the living room. Oh, it's really loud now. This has got to be it. Is this it? No, it's two or three. Granny! No! No! Let go, you crazy! Is it in here? Yes! Pick it up. Uh-huh. There's no one there. Um, because we called it. That actually would have been pretty chilling if... If, um, someone was there. Um, that would have been really creepy. Okay, did I do something wrong? I don't know. Uh. Well, that was fun, I guess. I can't help but feel... I miss something. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going. Since we have a torn piece of paper, let's drop this off. Let's go ahead and go back, read it, drop off any things we don't need. Whew. And continue along. Oh, that's right. We need to find. Eileen's key. The torn red paper stuck in here. It's so bloody. It's hard to read. Rachel, love you. Always watching. Window. Protect you. With love, Mike. You? Anybody out here? Dude, Sunderland will not quit. He really just is obsessed with this room. Let's check on Eileen again. Oh, she's got heels on. Cute. But why is she just waiting? Oh, so cute. She's all dolled up and ready to go. So let me look at my notes. If Mike is a stalker, he's my neighbor, so he's 307. No, 301? Wait, yeah, 301, I think, because I'm 302. And and then Rachel would be room 106. You can't see 106 from here. That's that's building two, isn't it? It's like U-shaped, I, I think. Or, or, or yeah, you can. I'm an idiot, duh, because there's two floors. Duh, three. So, yeah, you can totally see her from here. Creepy. Oh, I love getting all the juice about all the residents here. I'm just gonna put a doll, the doll. I, I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that you keep with you and something happens if you have it, and if you don't have it, it doesn't happen. I feel like that might. Ah, I don't know. I'll go ahead and reload. I'm pretty happy with 
everything that I have with me. Um, let's save and head back. Holy moly, this episode's gonna be so fat! But I can't stop. I want to keep going. I don't want to make it, like, short. What's left to do is explore the first floor. Uh, the, the opposite side of the superintendent's side. We're in the right place. Alright. Oh god. So many of them, holy god. No, get off me. Stop! Oh my god, they're so annoying. Ooh. All the bodies. Oh, I stomped them all at once. That was awesome. I didn't know I could do that. <sighs> this was just a, an empty room. Oh well, they all can't be juicy, can they? There's that same sound. Heard that earlier, I think. Hello? What are those? I keep seeing these on the ground. I just forgot to comment. You see it there? I don't know. It could just be environmental detail, but I've seen it a few times. The cordless fluorescent is giving off an eerie glow. Another empty room. I think we have two more on this floor. But surely there's got to be something here. Ooh. Sluggies. Y'all are crazy big. Get that out of here. Oh. It smells terrible. Open it up. Sure. It's wrapped up in these torn bloody jeans. <gasps> Is that part of the body of Mike? It's the bo Oh, it's a body of a dead cat? There's a torn red paper in one of the pockets. Oh my god. <gasps> Someone killed that cat. The one that had allergies, I bet. And the lady was so sad. The furniture seems to be covered with some kind of animal hair. Yeah. The animal hair. I feel like a detective. So this is the... This is the old lady's room. Yeah, 102! She put the poor baby in her fridge. Or someone put it there. 101, let's go. Who's in 101? This is the... Guns guy, according to my notes. What's in here? Nothing. Uh, oh, hello. Take the pistol bullets. Uh, uh, double hello. It's a model gun. Totally. What? Useless as a weapon. Uh, a model. Look at all these guns. Oh, they're all just models. Yep. Yep. That's sad. Thought we were gonna land something cool. Ooh, his shadow is so creepy. Nothing but books about guns. But one of these magazines has something written on the back cover. My eyes and skin are so itchy. That stupid cat next door made my allergy go crazy. I was so pissed off I took my converted model gun and blasted away at the thing. Wait, so it works? At point blank range. It was way cool. The thing just dropped like a stone. By the way, that revolver that Richard in 207 carries, it's the real thing. That guy's dangerous. <gasps> and we already know that because of him whipping it around at little baby Walter. But little did he know. Ow! Little baby Walter was a killer himself. Oh my god, so Mike, so this guy, not Mike. So that guy killed poor neighbors kitty so the cassette tape was that about mike getting messed up or was that about the cat because they said let's wrap it up wrap up the body 
in the clothes. And he was like, oh, my eyes are, get these clothes off me or whatever. Y'all have to tell me if I'm wrong there. All right, what's next? Oh, we have a piece of paper, okay. Let's go turn this into our room. Ah! Eileen! Hold on, girl, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta drop it off. Here we go. Okay. Oh, what are we gonna do? I've searched everything. I searched all the floors and still no sign of a key. Let's see if we have any visitors first. Nope. Oh yeah, I had a really wicked headache that day and just collapsed on the bed. Maybe if I look near the bed in my room, through a two's bedroom. That's our room. I'll find it. I get headaches every day now. It's terrible. What am I going to do? Okay, let's go check our bed. The red diary said under the bed. Oh, I think that's it. There's something on the ground. Will you take it? Doll key. Key with the girl's doll keychain attached. 303 is engraved on it. Oh my god, that's it. That's it! Alright, everybody. Buckle up. We're gonna go save our girl. <sighs> Alright. So, I'm nervous because we haven't seen Walter here. But we have seen... Well, we saw baby Walter and then some mysterious guy who's super creepy. <gasps> No, dude, I'm here, I'm here. Wait, wait. I have all these keys still. Well, it looks like I searched everything. There's no basement level or roof level. level. Alright, let's just do it. No! You little... Are you joking? 20121? So she is the next sequence, or the end of it, or something. Or 20 out of 21. Thanks. I don't know. Thanks! Did you find your mommy? Wait, what? This place? It's dangerous. You need to hurry. Get out of here. What? No! <sighs> Wait, but she was thanking him. For what? What? He's the one been killing everyone. So, I'm confused and upset, obviously. I'm super upset. All that noise. Guess it's ambulances. Yep. Dude, I'm so mad. That's it. I didn't even get to talk to her. Not once. It wasn't like Cynthia, where we got to see her and interact with her. Ugh. Eileen. Yep. There they go. It's nighttime now. I forgot to comment on that. It looks really cool with all the lights. Ah, uh, sheesh. I'm upset. Oh, the little bunny's in a different spot now. How cute. Ah, uh, I'm just. I'm just mad. This is not cool. I didn't think anything of it when I took the picture, but now it gives me a seriously creepy feeling. 
Maybe it's my imagination, but I get that weird feeling looking at this photo too. Maybe it's just my nerves playing tricks on me. This photo gives me a weird feeling. Also, he's like saying kind of all the same things about the photos this time. Yeah, like maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel something like fear coming from this photo. Oh God. What's what's next? Wait. No. 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 Not in my place of safety. You crazy. What's this? Dude, do not bait me with Oh, we've got notes. There's some kind of strange paper stuck in here. Will you take it? Succubus talisman. What? Card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Okay. Talisman. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if Eileen Galvin is okay. She has no idea what's going on. But she's in danger, nevertheless. Wait, why did we get this now? She's already... <sighs> Wait, is there not a... Isn't that a hand? Alright, well let's put back some things. I don't guess we're gonna need the apartment keys anymore. Uh, I'm gonna look through the peephole regardless. So they took the victim <gasps> to St. Jerome's, huh? Yeah, she's not gonna make it. She had numbers in her back, too. Walter Sullivan copycat. Round three, huh? Well, round they never three? got the scumbag behind round two a few years back. Maybe it's the same guy. Oh, what if... One, two, and three. Or what if they're all the same guy? What the hell are you talking about? You know Sullivan killed himself. The weird thing is, there were no clues. Crime scenes were always spotless. No fingerprint, no file, nothing. Just the numbers. Two, zero, one, two, one. I've been a cop for a long time, but i never seen a case like this. There is a little ghosty boy walking around. Couple ghosty boys. We saw that man and Walter. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Is that man older Walter? That would make sense because he disappeared at the same spot that baby Walter did in uh, Richard's room. And we saw him knocking on the door. So is that him older? Also, love the little bunny touch. That is super cool. Chilling. Got this photo from the superintendent, but there's nothing very interesting about it. Hmm, so Henry doesn't have a lot to say now. <sighs> All right, sorry to end it on such a sad note. I can't wait to keep playing. I, I feel like I have so much notes to review just so I can kind of piece this number sequence thing together because I'm kind of lost on that. Thank y'all so much for the likes, the subscribes, and the comments. I hit 1k. Thank you! I was so excited about that. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Ciao!